Hi, I'm Don Stigall, and today we're going to demonstrate vacuum forming some canopies. Um, a friend of mine made this vacuum rig, uh, partially by my design and partially by his design. This is the frame that holds the plastic. These are a couple of canopies we made on the second try, and there are a couple of wrinkles in it because I reheated the plastic multiple times. Hopefully, I won't have to do that today. It has screws and it's two pieces and these are handles for holding it in the oven. I made this frame to hold 17 by 17 inch plastic from SIG. They have a new website and it's not on the website yet, but hopefully they'll still have it. <coughs> it's still in their catalog. This is a piece of the plastic. You can see it's not clear. It's because it's got protectant on, plastic on it. And we have to take that plastic off. So I have mounted a piece of plastic and we get my oven mitts on. And Cindy, can you come in? This is my wife Cindy Stick. Cindy Renee Stigall. Hi. I'm putting it in the oven. I designed this frame so that it would fit in the oven and so that I had handles to hold it. Here we come. Okay, I've got a little 
bit of a round edge. So I'm going to try doing this one more time. I may wind up with wrinkles, but it's worth a shot. Don't hit it until I say hit it. You hit it a little early. Here we come. Get ready. Here we come. system. Um, so I'm using a Stanley five gallon four horsepower vacuum cleaner for sucking it. First I tried a gas pump that I use for making composite parts but it couldn't pull enough air and I had this vacuum cleaner out cleaning and I figured out that it had a whole lot more suction and a lot bigger airflow. So that one come right out, but this one's always hard. Probably because it's a slicker mold. I need to wax the molds is what I need to do. So here we have two vacuum formed canopies 
very usable. Stegall minnows and El Banditos will soon be in production, as well as a bunch of EF1 kits. Hope you'll check out stegallhobbies.com. The new website should be ready by uh, May the 1st at the latest. And you'll still be able to order on Amazon. And uh, we will offer custom vacuum service for people who don't want to set up the equipment and it'll be quite reasonable in cost. All you gotta do is send us the molds. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more adventures in RC. Uh, check out my channel rcfieldbox.com and rcpylon.tv and donstigall.com and there may even be more channels coming so thanks for watching